My name is Irina. I come to you from the southeast of England, uh, where I live with my cats, rabbits, husband, and a lot of yarn. Uh, this is my uh, fourth episode, fourth podcast. I haven't recorded for a couple of weeks. Uh, well, to be honest, I think I'll stick with a once in two weeks podcast anyway, because I'm not, I'm quite a fast knitter, but there are other things to do as well, especially around this time of the year. So I don't tend to produce as many projects to show off, uh, like today, for example. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I think, uh, one episode in two weeks would probably be better would would give but richer content uh yeah so the, what's been happening uh the last week i have pretty much spent in bed because i caught a cold i have this habit of catching colds from children I, i'm sure everybody does that but i do it so expertly like i just need to be with a child for a tiny bit of time and i'll have a cold and I'll catch cold from them. <laughs> and I was babysitting my niece and nephew on Friday last week. And uh, yeah, they had a bit of snot and, and yeah, they get over it very quickly and I don't, but what can you do? Anyway, so yes, yeah, so I haven't been meeting that much, but I thought it's a good day to come to you today as it's the 1st of December and yeah, we're starting the advent. So I might as well start talking about the Advents first. So today uh, I met my friend Nikki. Oh, by the way, uh, well, she has a podcast I mentioned before, Ship and Cheerful, but she's also doing a Vlogmas. So she'll be putting some videos every day uh, throughout the December up to Christmas. And I met her today and we've exchanged our Advent calendars that we have made for each other. Um, they sort of consist of all sorts of bits. Uh, well, she's a quilter and a knitter, so she gets, so she got a bit of fabrics. Oh, I hope she doesn't watch this. Well, she'll soon find out anyway. Um, and just a few random bits and a bit of yarn and all sorts of things. And she gave me my advent calendar today too. I should have taken a photo of mine, but if you want to see it, it's probably going to be on her vlog. I, because obviously when you wrap most of little presents, they are irregular shape and the only box suitable I had was some John Lewis cardboard box <laughs> that the post came in. So that's what she got, but it got personalized with my writing and whatnot. <laughs> but anyway, but she gave me hers in this beautiful box. And that's another funny thing. We opened our first day today while I was at her place. And my first gift for today was this beautiful tin from Harrods of Christmas uh, black tea, which smells lovely, it's beautiful. It's loose tea, which I love. We drink a lot of tea and if we drank tea bags, it's just too much waste. And so we tend to buy loose tea. Yeah, so this is, well, I can see, but it's just beautiful. Oh. Beautiful loose tea that smells like biscuits, but it actually has cinnamon, clove buds, ginger, cardamom seeds, orange blossom, and I think that's what makes it smell so biscuity. But the funny thing was that her first of December present was toilet paper. I didn't, I didn't just give her any toilet paper. It was this one of those jokey ones, and um, it's got Brussels sprouts on it, and every sheet has like a joke <laughs> it's really cute toilet paper but it's but it was quite funny because i've got a beautiful hair and stain and she's got toilet paper but anyway so that was our my first gift and that was all the other ones that i'll have to open i'm quite excited about this it looks so beautiful and lovely and exciting and while i was at nikki's again she, she did record a little bit of it so it'll be on her vlog we made this really adorable Christmas decorations out of fabric. It was great because she'd done all the prep works. She, it, you basically need four lengths of fabric rolled together and she's done it all. She's cut it and she ironed it, pressed it and everything. So it was just ready to be folded. And again, I'm not sure what the pattern is. We just sort of watched a YouTube video, but again, I think it'll be on her vlog and we'll probably share the pattern. 
but you could probably find like a fabric um, Christmas star thing. There's no sewing or anything, it's like fabric origami, you just fold it and fold it and then tack the ends in and it just gives you a really cute, plumpy, sort of 3D kind of thing, little star. So yeah, so that was a very lovely thing to do today on the 1st of December. So another advent calendar I have is, well, yarn yeah, related anyway, is from One Wool. This is the very first advent calendar, a yarny advent calendar that I've got. I've never bought one before. It came with lovely tea and some stitch markers. And I haven't actually opened mine today, so I might as well do it. So it comes with the whole, oh, right, so that's day 25, so that's, because uh, Nikki's got a calendar from Blue Fern Yarns, I think, and she actually has a full skein to open today. Or was it yesterday that she opened the full skein? Well, anyway, you open the full skein first, whereas mine's going to be on the 25th. Oh, gosh, too, wait, too, too long, too long to wait. But anyway, let's find the first one, because so it comes in the little bags. But now I have to find the first one, didn't I? Oh, I think that might be it. Yeah. And it's called Wildling, and I chose to have it on a twist sock. It's Superwash Merino and Nylon, 20 grams, 75 meters. So let's open it. And have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. It might not show as well in the camera, but it's sort of uh, slightly goldy blue, uh, sorry, not blue, pink even. A goldy, there's slightly purple tones, and it's like browny. Loom will always does so well, all sorts of neutral colors, and this looks lovely. Um, oh, I just had a moment, I thought I forgot to press record. Anyway, I didn't, yay. So yeah, so that's my first, stop, first, first day of Advent. Oh, it's lovely. I should like have a stick or something to hang it on so that they're all displayed. And then I'll put them all together in something. I was thinking of maybe making a jumper. If I thought if I start with uh, mini skeins for the yoke to make it more interesting. And then do the body in the, or half of the body anyway, in the full skein yarn. Then it could be quite nice. So yes, I'm really excited to open all these little envelopes of yarn. There's something torturous about it, isn't it? That you, <laughs> you have to do it one at a time, one at a time. Oh, and the full skin is so tempting. Uh, yeah, so this is my second exciting advent calendar. We don't really do many advent calendars. We don't buy many because, well, we bought, my husband bought me last year William Morris advent calendar. It was like beauty things like creams and whatever. But I find it a bit waste, like totally not judging, but I find it a bit wasteful because it comes in all these tiny little tubes and it sometimes it feels a bit unnecessary because that comes about one big tube of cream and yeah i don't know there are not that many super exciting ones i find chocolate ones are lovely they're always sweet and nice but but then i tend to have a cupboard full of chocolates so it's a bit sort of silly buying tiny chocolates but brilliant for kids the only one we love and we're buying for the second time sorry that was the advent calendar <laughs> we're buying for the second time is bon maman uh advent calendar if you don't know bon maman they make lots of jams lovely jam it's a french brand and they make delicious jams and in your advent calendar which is quite exciting you get well i want to say 24 but you don't get 24 because on the first day this well if you have one you've already opened it so you know on the first day this year we've got a teaspoon and the same it was last year but i think it was on the last day you get metal or well, proper teaspoon which has bon maman on it but then for the rest of it, pretty much, I think the last one looks like something else, but you get jams. And it's quite exciting to try 24 different jams. They come in their little uh, signature, again, if you've tried it, you know, they just, or you get them in cafes, just little glass jars. So again, it's kind of nice and recyclable and the little jars can be useful for storing tiny things, spices and things like that. So I find it's really nice and it's just quite pretty as well. So yeah, so that's, we bought one last year, bought this one this year and probably going to get more in the following years. My other Christmassy thing that I always buy is panettone. Oh god, it makes really weird noise when I slide it on the table. It's panettone in tins. Well, I love tins anyway. 
but I love panettone and that's my Christmas one. Well, it's not going to leave till Christmas. I'm going to eat it until then, but it doesn't actually look that Christmassy, the tin. It's just red. That's what makes it Christmassy, but otherwise it's just a girl with a panettone on it. I hope I pronounced it correctly, whether it's panettone or panettone, I'm not quite sure, but to me it sounds like it's Italian, so it should be panettone. Anyway, but I love it. I love, I love all the Yistino type products. So yeah, so that's actually all the Christmassy bits that I've got and I'm going to be looking forward to every day to open a little bit of a little bit of something every day, which is quite exciting and indulgent. And I'm going to appreciate the, yeah, I'm going to appreciate, <laughs> because I'd appreciate the heck out of it, but it sounded a bit rude, but I said it anyway, so yeah, so I'm definitely going to appreciate it. So in other related, uh, not related, well, Christmas related things, I've been, uh, last time I mentioned that I was knitting uh, socks for my father-in-law and I have finished the first pair probably should have got sock blockers I have some upstairs but it's not necessary in there you can see the sock as it is so that's the one sock which I just I basically my uh, go-to sock recipe is that I need them top down uh, for this one I did I think 20 rows for the ribbon I don't remember the numbers that I do for leg on foot, but I need the leg straight. Then I do a short row heel, just simple German short row heel. And then I do the foot and then I decrease normally like you would every other row with knit together and SSK. Straight for the toe. So that's my go-to recipe and it's just the simplest one. I don't have to look it up or anything that's one sock and that's the second sock they look quite similar they're not the same but because they're so all over the place color wise i think it doesn't really matter they match quite well the heels are quite different but they nobody would know that they're too different i mean you can see they're the same pair of socks <laughs> you won't lose them in the wash thinking it's from another pair so yes yeah, so i've got this pair ready and I've started another one, but this one I'm making, well, on one, on one hand, I'm doing it because I'm being a bit lazy and I don't want to need another four ply sock pair. But on the other hand, I thought it would be quite fun to have, um, to gift this uh, thinner pair of sock and then the slightly thicker and the thickest pair of socks. So this, uh, the thickest pair of socks is the one I'm knitting on now, and I'm using the Vita Jan Seven Brothers. Seven Brothers. It's Aran weight yarn. It's uh, 200 meters per 100 grams, and it's 75% wool and 25% polyamide. It does feel very woolly. In fact, it, I find it a little bit itchy on my hands, and, that, and it makes me sneeze a bit. But on the feet, it's going to be absolutely fine. And I, there weren't many, I bought it from Love Crafts and they didn't have many colors left in stock for some reason. Barely any, oh, it smells really sheepy as well. Uh, for some reason they didn't have many colors. Yeah, I don't know what, maybe everybody else is knitting Aaron White socks for Christmas. So, I started it before I got ill and it went really quickly, but then I got ill and it stopped. So I'm sort of nearly finished on this sock. I've done, because it's quite thick, I've done longer ribbon on here because I thought it would stay on the foot better. And then again, same, same, just knit straight on, then do German row short here, sh German short row heel. Then go in the foot. And again, then, yeah. So I think it's, it's very nice. It's very woolly, it's very sheepy. It's going to be very warm. I'm knitting it on three millimeter needles and the package says to use 3.5 but I'm knitting it on the shorties uh, continental style and I find my continental gauge is a bit looser than my English style flicking uh, style knitting so I thought I'll go for slightly smaller needles and it's worked well it's not too tight it's uh, it's good for the sock anyway to be tighter Oops, have some stretch so that's all good so yeah so that's one 
and I'm hoping to finish it maybe today, maybe tomorrow. And then I will just need to knit another one. And it, honestly, it will only take two, maybe three days if you can like spend a bit of time with it because it's just so quick with Aaron weight yarn. And uh, the third one I'm going to be making is I'm just waiting for the yarn. Uh, it's also Navita Nali. Uh, I think that one's I can't remember for sure, but I think it might be about 280 meters. I knitted two pairs of socks for my husband last year using Nali, and it's great. It the socks don't feel too thick at all. They only feel slightly thicker than four ply, but they knit a lot faster. And yeah, and again, it's lovely wool. It's very hard wearing and also it's quite shapey so I think it'd be great and uh, yeah just waiting for it to arrive again love course didn't have many colors left of it for some reason so I found a small I can't remember the yarn shop I used but it was a small yarn shop I just used to found it through Google which is great anyway so yeah but while on love crops I found this uh, Regia six ply yarn which is also like DK socks and this was one of the few colors they had left which uh, is fine for men, but uh, I think because it's like blues and but yeah, it could be nice for men as well. It's no problem there. It's just that I think my father-in-law would find this a bit babyish or something. I don't know. It's like this, they're sort of nice pastel like colors, which is not a problem. There is a picture of how it needs up, but that's not the colorway. But I'll make a pair of socks probably for myself with this. Or someone else will make like those colours, I don't know. <gasps> Why not actually? Maybe my sister-in-law, because she's one of my sister-in-laws. Sisters, one of my sisters-in-law. I have many, I have three sisters-in-law in the UK, so my husband's side. And one of them, the one I'm thinking of, is expecting a baby, which was an unexpected baby. As in, we didn't expect it to appear. <laughs> so, um, fought it some yarn to make it a baby blanket, of course, but that hasn't arrived yet. But yeah, but I think this this colour, I actually quite like this colour, so maybe I'll make her a pair of socks. She's on my. We do, we have, uh, so my husband has quite a big family because he has. Yeah, well, um, he has three siblings uh, who all have partners, and we have two little children in the family and obviously parents and so there's quite a lot of people and they seem to be adding up every year because of the babies and more partners and um, it got a bit tiring, <laughs> not tiring but it's a lot of work and effort to buy all the presents plus two of the siblings have birthdays in December then uh, my sister-in-law and the sister-in-law has a birthday in December basically we have Another three birthdays in December, two birthdays, that's by my husband's, in January, we have a birthday on the same day. And it's just, it's just too intense to buy so many presents. So a few years ago, I suggested we do Secret Santa instead. And we did Secret Santa, just one person buys for another one person. But it sort of backfired last year because uh, like one present didn't arrive and one person was left without a present and that just gets a bit sad. So this year I said, well, maybe we do two presents per person as in two, one person get presents for two other people so that then at least you get something to unwrap. Otherwise it's a bit sad, even though everybody's an adult and it's okay, but still it's just nice when you have something to unwrap on Christmas day. And uh, yeah, so one of my, one of the people I've given a present is my sister-in-law, uh, who's pregnant, and I've got, I've got already a present that she sort of asked for from her list. But then I think it's always nice to make something as well. So if I have time, I will make her a pair of DK socks as well. I think it will keep her feet nice and toasty. So that's actually my only finished and working project for this, well, for last week and a half that I have worked on. I did finish a hat, but it looks exactly like another hat that I showed last time, so that's a bit boring. No point in showing it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I haven't talked what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this weird crochet jumper. Well, it's not weird, but 
I basically had this yarn, it was on a cone, so I wasn't sure how much weight it had. It's quite hard to weigh cones because they have the actual cone inside and I wasn't sure if it was a full cone and not full cone because it was given to me. It was merino and more hair, uh, but it looked like I had plenty, so I thought, oh, I'm going to crochet myself a nice house cardigan. But I, I think I crocheted it so big that I ended up not having enough to make a long sleeve. But because it's so big, the sleeve drops down pretty much to my elbow anyway, and that's perfect because I can wear stuff underneath. Uh, I just crocheted, um, well, I, crochet, I would want to say three panels, but obviously here I've done a V-neck, so it wasn't, did I do a V-neck? Yeah, I've done a bit of a V-neck. Mm, so I did a few decreases, but it didn't have any pattern or anything. So I just made this panels with a bit of V-necky type edge here and my favorite part of it is this band so i think uh, i think people often don't like or don't see crochet as good for garments but i disagree with that i think a lot of the time when people especially start to crochet they pick up a bigger hook and chunky yarn and then they hope they'll get similar results to knitting, which you're not going to because a lot of our knitting is done on smaller needles and thinner yarn. So I think if you go for the same principle of getting thinner yarn and thinner hook, you can get really nice crochet garments. Um, I'll, show, I'll show a couple uh, next time, which I think look really good. And well, I mean, it's self-assured thing to say, but I think the fabric looks good because it doesn't have any holes. It's just like not what you would not like this it's got holes in it but um the other one that is just sort of it's proper dense fabric you wouldn't necessarily say it's crochet not knitting but another thing i find is the finishing with knitting we have ribbing which gives nice finishing to the projects and of course in crochet you can do ribbing when you just do around the post crochet post you do either front post or back post crochet and it gives you sort of the look of a rib but it can, which I use a lot as well but it can look a little bit messy I say well if you do it in a tighter gauge it looks neat but it doesn't look as neat as a proper knitting rib I haven't blocked the socks yet so the rib doesn't look quite as nice yet but um, but you can do ribbing which looks like proper ribbing in crochet as well and well, actually this one I think I've done like I don't know, ribbing, but it's quite short, uh, short amount of it. So, but it pretty much looks like knitted ribbing. But my favorite part is this, this band, the button band. This is just slip stitches, just slip stitch row on top, slip stitch row on top, stitch slip row, slip stitch, slip stitch row of slip stitch into the back loop, and it creates this really nice thick band which almost look looks machine done and it's perfect but i had this um what was the ceramicist she used to be very popular a few years back julia julia something ceramics and i had a couple of balls from her that i was gifted and they always came with these little sort of ceramic buttons they're very heavy but i had them hanging around and because this band is so sturdy it can actually carry these super heavy buttons because they are ceramic so they are quite heavy it's only got two buttons and I have a button it. But I could show you from the distance that it's it's quite spacious, quite good. See this? There's a lot of space there. But it's nice. It keeps me warm and cozy when I'm at home. And that's what we want really. So yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. It's just a house. House jacket. House jacket sounds kind of Victorian and posh and I'm not posh. But yeah. <laughs> So that's my crochet object and yeah and I think that might be it for today in a bit of a shorter episode. Oh I will I will include some footage of me and my friend. You'll see what I mean by friend. Oh, she's my friend but <laughs> you'll see what I mean at the end of the video. That was from today. We had a lovely cup of tea and mince pie with well two of my friends basically Nikki and my other which you will see in the end of this video. I will change my intro soon 
because it's quite autumnal and I think it's time to change it into the Christmas wintry mood but I'll need to record some footage for that so we'll do that as well and I'm gonna go and need some more my sock and do a bit of studying because I'm not sure if I've mentioned it but I've been uh, I'm doing a psychology with counseling course at the Open University I don't think I mentioned it because why why would I but I'm <laughs> I'm studying to get a bachelor's degree in psychology with the Open University and I'm on my second module and yeah and I fell a bit behind because of my nasty cold but I'm feeling a bit better now so I'm gonna get on top of that thank you so much for viewing my video if you have gone this far and I hope to see you soon I hope you have a lovely December and if you are celebrating Christmas, I hope you've got some lovely advents to open and or just have lots of cups of tea and chocolate that is just as good, to be honest. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. So, honey, what have been on your mind lately? <laughs> have you been dreaming of anything? Will your life go sunshine? Have you bought any good yarn? Any nice yarn? What kind of yarn do you like? You must like the crochet designer, Dog Wolf, I think she's called. That must be a nice one for you, isn't it? Do you crochet a lot? Do you? What she likes doing is stealing my cross stitch fabric. You like cross stitch? Oh, it. that's nice. Is it yummy? Is it yummy? It would be nice if they invented cross stitch with some rawhide or something. That would be delicious, wouldn't it, honey? Yes. No. Have you got an advent calendar, honey? No. Well, you should have had it, haven't you? Yeah, I did think about it. If she didn't have such a stupid tummy, I probably would have got them oh, an advent calendar. No. But... You haven't got worries like my pookie. He can't have an advent calendar because he has a stupid tummy as well. Yes. Well, your brother wants to talk to me as well, by the look of it. Or, more likely, he wants a tweet. Yes.